Oh there, Adept! Well met, Adept. We... We are in need of your assistance. Sort of. Velost has translated Sheagorath's tome, but we're having some trouble understanding it. She may need your assistance. Seek her out, soon as you can. Velost is working the problem out of the Shornhelm Guildhall. See you there, Adept. The Mad God is a deranged skeever. That's why it's proving so difficult. There's not so much actual text. The last two have had clues we could use to unravel his nonsense. This one is nothing but nonsense! An undead werewolf took over Camelot? An undead... werewolf? How does that even work? I'm glad Shalador found you. I need your help. Shea Gorath, he's made this process insufferable. I translated the last book you retrieved, but it doesn't make any sense. I can't find anything that might lead us to the next trial. I must be missing something. By all means, Circus of Cheerful Slaughter is just there on the desk. But be careful, the treachery of the Mad God knows no bounds. Good luck, my friend. This time, it's almost as though the runes themselves were mocking me. I translated the text relatively quickly. You can see when you read it, the words themselves just make no sense. If you told me years ago that I'd do spell work with Shalador, I'd have called you a liar. I'm happy to do the work. It's the chance of a lifetime, but I can't help but feel I'm in over my head. Welcome to the Circus of Cheerful Slaughter! Step right up, my mortal friend. The show is about to begin, and you're the star! You're going to perform a play. My play, actually. Wrote it myself. I call it The Folly of Isolation. It's a tragedy. And a comedy. They're both at once. A tragedy. <laughs> You want the next tome, right? Well, I need entertainment. I can only light Prince Malil here on fire so many times before it gets boring. You understand. Before we get to your motivation, we need to set the scene. The scene. Tamriel. The three alliances are at war, and the wee little mages guild wants none of it. They want to stand alone. Jolly good, you're paying attention. Now, this is a play in three acts. In each act, you'll isolate the guild from those bloodthirsty, political, warmongering sons of silkworms by killing them. <laughs> oh, everyone. <laughs> right up to the high muckety mucks themselves. Just remember, you wait for your cues. You kill nobody unless it's in the script. Now, let's get going. I can't wait to see it performed. Here, Malil will even light the way for you. My soul's on fire! Don't forget to light the brazier! Ah, you daft fool. Ha! Yes, it still hasn't got old! <laughs> I'll meet you up ahead at the bustling packed down of Harthold Helm! My lord is very excited to begin the play. As I am, I adore amateur performances.
Shall we raise the curtain? Begin the first act? Our opening act features the Ebonheart Pact. Ha! That rhymes, doesn't it? I'm a poet, and until now, I didn't realize it. Don't be presumptuous, mortal, or I'll banish you to the Isle of Lusty Bards. <clears throat> like I was saying, as the curtain rises, our Ebonheart friends are at peace. Allies. Historically, though, they've been at each other's throats. Slavery, border raids, and infighting have them primed for chaos. <laughs> they just need a little push. I've written myself apart, a small but pivotal role, if you'll excuse me. Hey! You hate each other, remember? Oh yeah, get up. Go! Join the fracas! This is your cue! Action! Dogs. Oh, it's simple, my king. The Mage's Guild caused this infighting. It's all their fault. The Mage's Guild? This mewling puppy? You want trouble? Here is trouble for the pack. This isn't my land. I need to find my way home. He told me I could go home. I only have to find the way. You'll never Hello? make a living reading Are you all lost day. Too? You need to earn some coin, the last. Even mages take their noses out of their books once in a while. You just can't stand to be around people. Pathetic. You have a rare mind, Belast. Not once in a century is a Myrrh with your talent born. We have accepted your application to join our august and storied mages' guild. This is the proudest day of my life, Guildmaster. Thank you. Damn the mad god! Why can't I make sense of this text? I'm such an idiot. We now pause for a brief intermission. Would you like some cheese? No time for witty banter, eh? <laughs> fine, fine. This act features the old Mary Dominion. Cats and elves. I never had a taste for either, honestly. Too much fur and fancy. Eh, let's play it by ear. The scene. Queen Irene is addressing some of your peers. As a master thespian, you should respond to her heartfelt pronouncements as you see fit. And... Action! 
The Mages Guild cannot turn on the Dominion so easily. You are a part of this world, like it or not. My Queen, you don't understand. The Guild does not belong to any Alliance. We merely wish to study in peace and solitude. Hey! Quiet down front! I am trying to watch the Queen's speech! Either you're with the Dominion or you're against us. You want to be removed from this world? Fine, I'll do it for you. Here, let me show you the path to exile. You can't ignore the world around you. Hey, Queenie! You missed a mage! This one is a member of the guild too! Ah, good catch, Jester. Soldiers, give this mage the gift of exile. Clarnet! Uh, Razum Dar, Captain Odre, take care of this, sir. You killed my favorite cat. Such a loyal cat. Like I'll have to handle this myself. You face Irene Arana Aldmeri in her full glory. And see! Let's move on! Wolfsild, I did it! I have created a sanctuary, a retreat that will endure for eons! I shall call it... Ivea. Sheogorath, you bastard! The folly and discognitum wasn't worth an island! I'll get Ivea back! Even if it takes three lifetimes! Damn the Mad God! Damn Ulfsild! Damn the lot of them! They'll see. They'll all see. Archmage Shalador's name will ring across history! You didn't come home last night. I waited all night for you. Have you been working this entire time? Charlador! Ivea is lost! You're obsessed! Can you even hear me? I can't do this anymore. You love your spells and scrolls more than you love me. I'm leaving you. Can you hear me now? Goodbye, you stupid old fool. Ulfi, my love? I swear I just heard you. Where did you go? <sighs> the third act always brings me down. Because it means the play is almost over. I'm enjoying this so much I don't want it to end. And the sideshows. Have you enjoyed my little illusionary performances? Very illuminating, I think. Ugh, I won't tell you. I show you. That's the essence of storytelling. Show, don't tell. What do you think this is, community theatre? Well, it isn't. 
This is a professional production, and you are the star. I've set the scene. We can just improvise from there. Remember, show, don't tell. Stage left, we have the founder of the Mages Guild, Vanus. Stage right, we have your old, 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 old friend, Archmage Shalidor. And backstage, we have Velast, your new friend and confidant in the Mages Guild. But what's this? Why, it's King Emmerich and his friends from the Daggerfall Covenant. No doubt he's got kind words to share. Take it away, your highness! For perpetuating the use of magic, we hereby burn you at the stake. Let your corruption be gone from this land, once and for all. Huh! Seems like nobody wants you around. Ha! So, this is the final scene. Save your friends. Then, I'll give you me book. I would have given up the island for her. She never gave me the chance to decide. My wife. Shail Gorath is so much smarter than I am. I'm like a child before him. performance was a bit uninspired at points. And you refused to eat cheese with me. Yes, yes, uh, you did make me laugh and cry and kick Malil in the head. I suppose that's all I could ask. Take your book. Just don't eat it all at once. <laughs> the book will take you back. It knows the way. Just remember, little actor, you still have one book left. And if you thought my play was rough, just think of what's ahead. <laughs> What happened? Where did you go? Oh, I'm almost afraid to ask what happened. I hope this trial wasn't too painful. I'll start translating this book right away. We've got one more trial to go. Nice work. There's only one more trial. We'll let you know once we're finished delving through Sheagorath's madness. I was? What happened? 
The more we deal with him, the more I'm convinced. The Mad God is a spoiled child, pulling legs off bugs just to watch them twitch. What else happened? Some kind of commentary about Shalador's goal, no doubt. He may be a child, but Sheogorath certainly knows how to make a point.